Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install and use MongoDB on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So first of all, open your favorite browser and search for MongoDB download. And the first link which will appear here will be from mongodb.com forward slash try forward slash community. So essentially we want to download the community server of mongodb which is uh, free to use so just click on this link which is going to open this uh, mongodb community server download section here when you scroll down you will be able to see the windows section so just select the latest version of uh, MongoDB at the time of making this video 6.0.5 is the latest version if you want to install the previous versions uh, you can select those versions from here also right then you can select the platform which is Windows for us and the package which is MSI uh, for us you can also download the zip file but I'm going to download the MSI file which is easier to install and then click on download button which is going to start the download of this uh, mongodb windows.msi file so once this msi file is downloaded i'm going to click on this msi file and let me minimize my browser and you can see the installer is starting so now i can see this uh, mongodb setup wizard has been started so just click on next here and then accept license terms and conditions and click on next so here you can see the setup type. So I will recommend you to select the complete uh, button here. And it says all program features will be installed, requires the most disk space and recommended for most users. Now it also says the Mongo shell must be installed separately for Windows installations and there is this link given here so i can click on this download now button for mongo shell mongo shell is essentially a mongo client which will allow you to uh, interact with your mongodb uh, server right so right now we are installing the mongodb server but if you want to install the mongodb shell then you need to click on this download button and once you click on the download mongo shell uh, link you will be able to see in your browser this link will open uh, we can download this mongo shell later but first let's complete the installation of mongo community server and then we can also install mongo shell uh, later right here i'm going to click on complete button and then i can see the server configuration you can see install mongodb as a service which is checked which is okay which means that as soon as your windows operating system starts mongodb uh, is going to run as a service on your windows operating system so you don't need to worry about anything just leave everything as default which is run service as network service user these are the location of your data and the log folder in the data folder all your data in your mongodb will be saved and in the logs folder all the logs related to your mongodb servers will be saved just click on next here and then you can see install mongodb compass mongodb compass is an official graphical user interface for mongodb which will allow you to fetch your data from your mongodb server so it's essentially a graphical user interface uh, for interacting with your mongodb data so i will recommend this to download so just click on this uh, checkbox if it's not already selected and then click on next and then click on install and you will be able to see this kind of option which says do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device i will click on yes here which is going to start the installation process of mongodb so just wait for a few seconds until you see uh, this progress bar reaching to the 100 percent mark so i can see uh, that mongodb compass is already installed and it has already opened the mongodb compass uh, on my windows operating system and now i can also see that uh, the mongodb community server installation has been finished also 
So I can click on this finish button. And as you can see, MongoDB Compass has already been started as the part of installation. I can click on start here. And now I can see that the MongoDB Compass has been started. Now, if it doesn't open, you can see the desktop icon for MongoDB Compass has been created. So I can click on this MongoDB Compass icon and this will open this MongoDB Compass uh, on my Windows operating system, right? So as I already mentioned, MongoDB Compass is a graphical user interface which acts like a client for your MongoDB server. So for connecting to your default MongoDB server database, you can use this default URL which is mongodb colon forward slash forward slash localhost colon 27017 this is the default port okay so you don't need to change anything just click on connect and it's going to connect to your default mongodb server here you already have few databases these are uh, some of the default databases which are already present in your mongodb you can also see this my query section right now there is no query you can create a new database by clicking on this uh, create database uh, button and then you can uh, just uh, create a new database. For example, I want to create a database called MyDB. I can uh, do that. Also, I can create a collection inside MyDB. So I can uh, name my connect collection anything. I am going to name my collection as, for example, orders, right? and then i can click on create database since mongodb5 there is an option to create the time series database also but for now i just want to create a normal collection so i'm going to click on create database and it's going to create this database with this collection in my database right you can add the data from here you can either import the JSON uh, file with contain, which contains data or you can directly insert the data in your MongoDB, right? So this is the ID. I can uh, just add few more uh, options here. I can add the cost, for example, 12, right? And then click on insert and the data is going to be inserted in your collection. Right. So this is how you can create a database collection and insert data into the collection. You can also click on find here, which is going to show you all the data in your database. You can also create aggregations. You can view the schemas and other uh, options here. Right. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to use a command line uh, tool to interact with your MongoDB, if I open command prompt in uh, Windows operating system by just searching for uh, CMD and when it opens command prompt and when I write Mongo here you can see Mongo is not recognized as an internal or external command right also when I go to uh, my C directory where MongoDB is installed and then go to program files here I will be able to see MongoDB folder and here only the server is there, right? So here I can see the MongoDB server, but I don't see Mongo shell. So as you might remember, uh, when we were installing MongoDB, I have told you that you can uh, install Mongo shell separately and this is the link for that. So under the mongodb community you can see tools and there is this mongodb shell uh, option and uh, you can select the version here choose the latest version and then choose the windows operating system and then you can choose the zip file which is the only option at the time of making this video i'm going to click on download which is going to download this zip file once this zip file is downloaded i'm going to go to the location and then i'm going to extract this uh, zip file so i'm going to just uh, right click here 
and then click on extract all and I'm going to extract this uh, mongo shell zip file in my C directory and then program files and then I'm going to select the mongodb right and uh, inside mongodb I'm going to extract this uh, uh, zip file so I'm going to just click on uh, select folder and this is the location where I want to extract this mongo shell and then I'm going to click on continue which is going to extract this file in my mongo db folder right so let me go to this mongodb folder this mongo shell uh, folder is extracted and there is the mongo sh.exe file just copy the path of this bin file and then click on search and then search for edit environment variables right so you will be able to see this option which is called edit the system environment variable or you can directly uh, search for this option right edit the system environment variable click on this option and then uh, click on environment variable and then under system variable you will see this path variable click on edit and then click on new and then paste the path of your mongo sh bin directory which we have copied right click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok and then just restart your command prompt so i'm going to close this command prompt and i'm going to open the command prompt once again and this time i'm going to just write mongo sh and then press enter and it's going to work this time so mongo shell is going to work this time and you can see we are inside the mongo shell right it has connected to our default uh, mongodb database which is running on localhost and here we can run the command line uh, to fetch the database or create some collection so i can write show dbs here and it's going to show all the dbs I can create a new database by using use and then the name of the database. I can name my database as, for example, code bind, for example, right? And then click on uh, enter and it's going to switch to the uh, code bind database. When I once again uh, choose show DBs, it's going to uh, show other databases, but it's not going to show the uh, code bind database which I have created because in order to uh, view the database which you have created, you need to insert some data into a collection, right? So you need to create a collection and then insert the data into it. But Mongo shell is working and then you can uh, write some other commands to interact with your Mongo shell. So this is how you can install the latest version of MongoDB on your Windows operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.